you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum. It's the hardest colour for our eyes to distinguish. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple, a colour beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colours. And I fear that this, this is where I currently reside. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me, do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or, or at least I hope you are. I'm sorry, but existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass surrounded by my books and papers when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much.